um, talk tough, and uh, and so thus I think is actually confident. <clears throat> I think he can handle himself. Mm, interesting choice. Yeah. You know who I pick? I'm picking. Uh, I'm picking the toughest, meanest, brutalest person I know, Miss Jackie Moore. I want her oh, to have my back. Yes, yes. If it goes down. Yep. Woo, that's a good oh, yeah, one. That's a, that's a really good that's one. Good that's me. Excellent choice. Coming up uh, next, we're going to talk about something that uh, we all do, and that is get ready for bed. What do you do before you get ready for bed? And I want to know specifically, <laughs> what do you wear to bed? Ooh, Are you? Uh, personal it stuff, is very Jamie. personal stuff. We've got to uncover the folds of this onion and find out what's up with you. Okay, I want to find out. Are you going to bed with something on? Let's take her for a spin. <laughs> Christy Hammy. You keep pointing at me. I want to know. <laughs> So you, wait, this show is just an excuse for me to ask you pervy questions. That's all it is. <laughs> want to know what I do before bed or what I wear to bed? Well, if you want to volunteer anything you do before bed, that'd be fine. <laughs> We're not going to go But the question, there, as but... it stands, is what do you wear to bed? My birthday suit. Please. Nothing, huh? Happy birthday. Happy Nothing. Happy it's my birthday every day. So. <laughs> You're kidding. It's way more comfortable. So, you know. Jerry Lynn, I'm sure the ladies want to know what do you wear to bed? What do I wear to bed? Usually. <laughs> Nothing, oh. unless, usually it's nothing, but unless my daughter wants, I let her sleep with us that night, I'll put on some boxers. All right, fair just enough, fair enough. Daughter. So, Cal Pal, I can only imagine what is going on in your dead of iniquity. I don't know what's going on in your gutter mind. I'm a lady, I've got to wear nothing to bed, so I wear perfume to bed. Perfume, huh? Chanel number five, for those taking sport at home. Perfume. Brian Kendrick, curious. What you wear to bed. I'm curious where you come up with these brain hey, these, <laughs> I'm going to say this right here. This is a tweet um, question. I did not come up with this. Okay. That so is a Twitter question. One of these <laughs> came up with. Yes. It. yes. Uh, I guess uh, nothing. Yeah, like like everybody. Yeah, I'm, unless I'm rooming with somebody on the road, then I'll wear shorts. But yeah, naked, like a normal human being would. Earth, I see. Yeah, you got no. that. Nothing. Wow, yeah. we are all okay. on the same page. Yeah. Jamie, what are you? I'm wearing... We all work together. That's creepy. Wow, we're by... <laughs> Let's all climb into bed and see what happens. Ah, uh, nah, guys, I wish... What do you wear? Tie? I wear, I wear boxer briefs. <laughs> Boring. <laughs> wish I had a better answer for you. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Um, That's the honest to God truth. Let's go ahead and dive into some deep, deep personal questions. And we're talking about hygiene here. Okay. Now, this is an interesting question. This question posed to us, uh, and I did say it was a creepy question, but I guess if that's the theme of the show, let's do it. Who on the topic, uh, who on the panel has the softest hair? Now, uh, looking around, Jerry, you have a lush, lusser, Silky, shiny mane. Well, I'm kind of proud to say a lot of the, the girls, the divas, have go, man, your hair's so soft. Yes. And, they, and I tell them, go, what do you use? I say, never skimp on the conditioner. You always got to use the Mac Daddy conditioner because it makes a big difference. So mm. I always tell them, use Biolage. Biolage, that's an endorsement. I think you need to test like you need to All right. test everybody's hair. All right, will you back me up on this? I'll offer mine first. And okay. Have to touch it. All right, let's, let's just but go ahead. Touch the ponytail. Textures, <laughs> textures. <laughs> Silky, smooth. Nice, we might. <laughs> what does that smell like? Oh, oh, yeah, this is gonna be tough to beat. This is. It's like baby. This hair is like really. a feather pillow going on here. Uh, Val, let's try yours. Got little curls going today. Not too bad. Uh, and <laughs> just greasy. It's unwashed filth. Is what you're touching. And somebody give me some hand sanitizer. There you go. All right, now I gotta say, I gotta say without question, everybody come over yeah. here. Fill this man's hair. Jerry really? Lynn, come on over. That's it for the spin cycle. You gotta feel this pain. Oh my God! It's, come on, it's unbelievable. That's it. We'll see you next time here on the spin cycle. I feel so cheap. I can go to bed. Now. Still to come on explosion. Before the belt presents Destination X, featuring the stars of the exhibition. But up next, it's the Impact Wrestling.com match of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opening contest. And let man to determine the exhibition's number one contender. Who gonna wrestle must climb the ladder and retrieve the contract. Introducing from Southern California, Ryan Kendrick. Only appropriate on a night when the exhibition takes the spotlight with only Destination X with a full win with a title shot hanging in the belts. The next participant from Brooklyn, New York. Well, amazing red for X Division champion. And I dare you to go try to find an athlete, a pro wrestler, that brings the energy amazing red brings. Yeah.
Christian showing his true passion, and as he recently emphasized, I am X. Well, man, is no confidence problem. And finally, from Southern California, Kazarian! I gotta say, my since Kazarian has returned here to TNA, this man has been on point, man. He has been looking sharp as a tap. Kazarian walked away from wrestling business after thinking that he let TNA down in the World X Cup. That shows just how serious these athletes are about representing the division and TNA. Well, especially Kazarian, one of his traits, he's a very, you know, the short term I know, and it's the contract, by the way. To be the number one contender for the exhibition championship. Kazarian, the short time I know, I know no, he's a very powerful. Who would drive this guy? Oh, well, here we go. And we are underway, opening the Destination X. And that TNA title shot for the actual contract hangs in the balance high above Brain Fever Ladder. Take it down. As soon as you pull that clipboard down, you get the title shot because they're in right off point, right off target with the drop and the red with the baseball slot. Yeah, you know what? If it's your first time, ladies and gentlemen, witnessing an X Division match, I mean, don't blink, but stuff happens quick and very impressive fashion. Whoa! Told you. Running clothesline, courtesy of Kazarian and Daniels out to the floor. Keep your eyes on the whoa, guy. Whoa, whoa, okay. whoa. Amazing red, watch him fly. Does <laughs> red live up to his moniker as amazing? You damn right. Yeah, openings there for Brian yeah, Kendrick. Yeah. The other three competitors out on the arena floor. He immediately gets the ladder into play. Going to try and go up and take down the contract, but then gets off by Kazarian. Oh, you can see the angst that these both guys men have to get up that ladder to get that contract. If you see the window of opportunity open up to climb that ladder and get a hold of that, that contract, the number one contender contract, you gotta go get it. Uh -oh. And now that that ladder's in position and in place, you're not gonna have as much time to worry about as far as taking your people out of play. That ladder's already there. You just go right up the ladder, wait, take wait, one wait, on wait. the contract. Ooh. Oh, avoids the contact of the ladder and then the drop kick directly into the ladder that goes right into day. It's amazing. Where did you get, get that contract? Oh. How close can you be? And his hand right on the clipboard. Right, Kendrick wants to head there. Look how quick Kendrick and Red, you can see how important it is for one of these men to become the number one contender. Well, Red just took Kendrick and brought him down directly off the ladder, backs him into the corner repeatedly, and then connects with the kid. You can hear the impact of Kendrick's foot meeting Red's face. Oh. Slingshot move in, brings Kazarian, who lands back first on the ladder. Looks like his hamstring. Look, Kazarian's hamstring might have caught the edge of the steel, one of the steel rings of the, uh, of the ladder. That could cause him problems later on in this match when it comes to climbing the ladder. Absolutely, uh, we don't know the extent of the injury. Kazarian even has an injury. <laughs> back to the judo playbook that time yeah. for Daniels with that, well, that STL takedown. Yeah, it's a back sweep, and it's called the Osora Gary. Very impressive. Short throw there. Now, what the hell has Daniels got going? Oh, he's the ladder as a weapon. Oh, wow. Geez. This is all legal, folks. Oh, that's close by Red. Drop toe uh -oh. <laughs> You see the problems that the drop toe hook from Red Cut is for Daniels. You watch the exhibition men go. It's like watching a video game, man. It's awesome. Later tonight, that X Division Championship will be defended by Doug Williams against Shannon Moore. Winner of this match will go on to get a title shot at the X Division Champ. You want to tweak an angle, ankle if you're amazing ready.